What up, everybody? Welcome back to the Vintage Cube. We're going to do a stipulation because we're trying to knock these out. You know what? Monsonster has this weird stipulation where he's like, it's a Timmy draft. You're looking to do big things and get there. This means if you have a chance to get Gristle Brown on the board, draw 14, and then Eureka, you do it. Or whatever other cool thing comes along. And you know what? Natural order is a pretty cool thing to do. So... That's what we're doing. The order is natural. Show and tell, huh? Huh. Huh. Show and tell is like the 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 best chance of getting there, right? Like it's terrible. We all know it's terrible. We're confirming that it's terrible before we take it. We could also reanimate something. That might be safer. I think reanimate's probably safer. Let's take the reanimate. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't take Thrag Tusk over Jiraga Tree Speaker here. I do want to cast my spells. Plus, the only thing I can see doing Thank crazy you. stuff is Mind Slaver. Nilsh, thank you for the for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Tutor. Oh, Vampiric Tutor. You know what? Super Fritz, I hear you, buddy. Oh, Progenitus, we got Natural Order. That's all you want. That's all you want. I bet it would have come back too. Probably could have, probably could have let it roll. I think we're, I, th I think we're early enough to be recurring nightmare, and this pack is not even that, that good. Okay. Avenger of Zendikar. We can get Avenger and then use a bunch of the tokens to to recurring nightmare things. Okay. Also through the breach though. Oh man. What about them Eldrazi's? I'm going to take through the breach instead. We're going to be, we're going to be Sultai here. Not Sultai, Jund. I'll, I'll learn names. He said as if he didn't know them. Living death? I was thinking Wheel of Fortune because it's kind of a good way to pitch some things. Like we could go Wheel of Fortune to reanimate, which is kind of cool. I, I honestly, I think Wheel of Fortune might be better. Yeah, I'm going to take Wheel of Fortune. It sets things up. Like if we have a recurring nightmare on board and we cast Wheel of Fortune, like it's just a good way to get things into the, into the grumper, you know? This guy's, this guy's a fat daddy. Fat daddy, how you doing? So we can, yeah, we're just going to take Terastin on. We want to be able to pitch pitch things in the graveyard. Fauna Shaman, I usually hate it, but right now being able to pitch something to reanimate might be what we're looking for. Show and tell's cool. I think we'd just rather have the, the versatility of Reclamation Sage. And... <laughs> <laughs> to clarify, show and tell is actually not cool. So that was just a, I was just a misspeak. I was like, show and tell's cool. Just kidding. It sucks. Oh, drag a tree speaker came back. Nobody got any respect. I feel like we got some big things going. We got Recurring Nightmare, Reanimate, Natural Order Through the Breach. We got the Progenitus for the Natural Order.
Yeah, natural or for rec sage is, or acidic climb is definitely a thing I've done before. Like sometimes you just really need to get rid of an enchantment or an artifact. Green sun came back. That's pretty good. We're taking a green sun here. It just gets rec sage, fauna shaman. Like it's just a very versatile card. Corpse dance. Living death came back. Guys, we're doing it. I like an Oracle. Necromancy is actually pretty decent. I think Oracle is going to be better than Necromancy. Marsh Flats is also nice if we get any sort of uh, black based land. Is Monsanstra even here anymore? Man. I think it's, I, I'm leaning more, I mean like, Necro is great, don't get me wrong. I just think Oracle is probably better. Like, it helps with natural order, it gives us lands. I think I'm gonna take the, the Oracle. Necromancy is actually pretty replaceable. Like, I mean, even Liliana does a good necromancy impression. Um, I'd love bribery, but obviously we're not going to, we're a little late to be bribering. I might just want black cleave cliffs here, actually, because we have no fixing whatsoever. And I kind of want to make sure we get some. So I want to take the, the black cleave cliffs. Oh, Dak Faden, really? Oh, boy. I mean, I like Dryad. I also kind of like Dak here, but I also like Iona. Like with Fauna Shaman and Wheel of Fortune, we have some decent discard outlets. Dryad helps with our fixing a lot, though. Mox Diamond's also very good as well. I think it might be Iona. Oh, cool. oh, Eureka? Mm. Well, see, now we're just going to take... Actually, here's the thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four cards are coming back. I'm going to bank on Eureka coming back, and I'm taking this Coalition Relic. Hmm. I mean, Thran Dynamo is reasonable if we're green suns anything. Also, Dryad, if Dryad comes back, it just lets us cast Amiria, which is, or Iona, rather. Turn Timber actually does seem pretty good when we have these big fatties and we're trying to get more. Yeah, I'll just take Turn Timber, Turn Timber Symbiosis. We could actually get Wishclaw, <laughs> search for like Terastodon or something, or a way to put Terastodon into play, and then kill the Wishclaw before they get to use it. Oh boy. Is Mind Twist big Timmy energy? I kind of want Mind Twist here. I don't think it's Rafellos because we're not going to have a ton of forests. I could see taking Worm Coil. I think we just have to Mind Twist. Mm, Copperline Gorge. Entomb, though. Mmm, boy. Mmm, boy. Mmm, boy. Mmm, boy. Yeah, we're just taking Entomb. Like, that's exactly what you want with Reanimate Recurring Nightmare. Null Priest. I don't even know if we're red right now, but... I mean, Null Priest is still a reanimate spell. I'm just going to take the Null Priest. Oh, the Necromancy came back just as we assumed it might. 
I mean, that makes me want to wheel more. Oh, Liliana came back because of course she did. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's too bad. I guess we can take a Languish. Mm, Sorolf and Ophiomancer. Ophiomancer is pretty good with Recurring Nightmare. Let's take an Ophiomancer. Oh, Wishclaw came back. That's fascinating. I mean, if we're Wishclawing for a Rexage, then we're literally just putting a 2-1 on the board for no value whatsoever. Because then we're using the Rexage to kill the card we gave them in the first place. So it's like... We start with a wish claw, they start with nothing. Oh, Worm Coil came back? Jeez, that's pretty cool. And no one cares about that. Okay. Oh, a Mox Ruby. I mean, that is an on color Mox, and this pack is not that exciting. Yep, we're going to take Mox Ruby here. Crater Hoof. It's funny because I almost think it's Liliana over Crater Hoof. I mean, Liliana is a discard outlet. We have a bunch of, we have Necromancy, Reanimate, Recurring Nightmare, but we have very few discard outlets. I, I think Liliana is actually better. Plus our deck isn't really going wide. I'm going to take the Lily. Plus, we pitch a bunch of cards for Living Death, and, and like we have, our deck is far more reanimated than than going wide here. Hey, yeah, Woodfall Primus is good. Hey, what are you doing? You moving around? Okay, I accept. Uh, I would take Finale where I have Green Sun. Let's take Woodfall Primus because that guy's an, another another banger of a target. Or we can take him and hope that Woodfall Primus comes back. Him is also nice with something like Reanimator Necromancy because it disc. Yeah, let's take him because it it discards their cards, and if we hit like a creature, we can just reanimate it. Ooh, Kozilek. Ooh, Kozilek with Eureka and through the breeze. The Eureka didn't come back. Oh my god. Wow, that's that's unfortunate. I just realized the Eureka didn't come back. <laughs> okay. Okay, babe. I laughed. Katie's making jokes in the background. She said, you're Eureka. And uh, I laughed. I don't think we want Mystic. I'm taking the Kozilek. Like, we have Through the Breach over here. And if we get a different Eldrazi, it's just even better. Collective Brutality is the pick here. Survival of the Fittest? Oh, boy. So I think with Reanimate... Necromancy, Recurring Nightmare, Liliana, and Living Death. We, I think we do have enough cards to 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 bring things back with. I don't think we need to zoom. Is Survival better than Fauna Shaman? I think so. Grim Monolith also very good. Let's just cast a lot of things. I want to take the Grim Monolith. Shieldred. I mean, are we just... I mean, I don't want to think we're just building Reanimator. We're trying to do cool stuff here. I mean, but, like, the problem is, like, we, we, we got very little fixing for, like, our... For our entire deck, basically. So, eh, man, Gaius Cradle. I mean, realistically speaking, the survival might actually come back. I'm going to take Sundering Titan, because this guy's been kind of impressive recently. Sphinx could also be good. Doretti's a cool discard outlet. Yeah, let's let's take the Doretti. And I'm fingers crossed that the Sphinx comes back. God, if we had one fetch land. 
don't think it's makeshift mannequin. It might be Knight's Whisper here. I also don't hate Flame Tongue Kavu. All right, I'm just gonna take out some things that I, I don't think we're gonna be playing. Fauna Shaman is fine to go. Languish is probably not main deckable. Kozilek can go. I don't think we're Green Sun Zenithing here. Oh wow, Crater Hoof just came back. Yeah, that's a thing, all right. Put him in the sideboard for now. We don't know what direction we're gonna go with that. Thank you. Does my cube have recurring nightmare? I'm actually not sure. I don't think it should, now that I'm looking at it. Like the more I play recurring nightmare, the more I feel like it's not Yeah, it does. That seems like an easy removal. Um, Woodfall, actually Blightsteel Colossus, is that better? No, because we can't reanimate that. We can reanimate Woodfall Primus. Mana Flare. I'll just take Tendrils. Hate it off somebody. This is also 27 cards. We have a lot of cards in our deck. Exhum came back. Oh my god. <clears throat> Last pick survival. I don't think that's how it worked out, but that would have been funny. I would laugh. Oh, last pick Gaia's Cradle? Good grief. That's big style on it. <laughs> oh, dear, babe. Okay, get rid of this thing. God, we're just literally running like mono forests and, and swamps here. This? Hey, good man. What are you doing? You got a headache? Yeah, but I'm going to Well, all right. Okay, we're probably playing these two. This is iffy. This is iffy. This is iffy. Still have this guy. Got these two green boys and this fat daddy. All right. Okay. So the problem with the natural order is I want you guys to remember that we have one, two, three green creatures, four green creatures that we can actually sacrifice the natural order. I think that makes this bad. If we could Ophiomancer, I'd be down. If if Progenitus stayed in the graveyard, I'd be down. I think we should focus more on reanimating and living deathing than we should on natural ordering. Yeah, and then we're going to hit Terrastin on our Woodfall, and that's pretty much it. Tiger Nate, thank you for the resub, buddy. Franconic Disciple, thank you for the resub. Didn't even see you guys, but really appreciate you both. You're awesome. I love you guys. You're amazing. Just wonderful. Um, Through the Breach, is it worth it for just Kozlik? I guess we could also... Through the Breach and Woodfall Primus is also pretty good. Terastodon is decent. I mean, we really want to reanimate this. The problem with Kozlik is that once you bring it in, like it's not going to be, be reanimatable. I also don't love Recurring Nightmare. I hate to say it. Like we have, right now we have Reanimate, Exhume, Null Priest, which is good. Uh, Necromancy <laughs> and Living Death and Liliana. I don't think we need Recurring Nightmare. It's just, I, you need to, it's too creature dependent. God, we still need three more cuts. This is, this is, a, this is wild. I also think we should be breaching, but here's the problem. We bring in breach, we gotta bring in Kozlek. Because the the fat Eldrazi's with Annihilator are the best things. Now we have 28 cards, we need 
five cuts. <laughs> oh god. Living death can go? That's like the coolest thing we can do. We discard like Terrastin on Woodfall, Iona, Sundering Titan, and then we're just like, a living death, bring it all back. Man. Babe, I knew what you meant. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um... I think it actually is pretty good. Like between Duretti, Wheel of Fortune, and like Fauna Shaman, we're actually like going through our, our deck pretty quickly. And Liliana, like we have a bunch of consistent ways to discard things. I just don't, I, I don't know how to cut five cards from, I think we can cut Draga Tree Speaker. Like we have Grimonolith, we're not super reliant on the Tree Speaker. Uh, Duretti is not an artifact card. Duretti is a, uh, a loot card. Like, you're able to discard your fat creatures with Duretti. Plus, if we're able to trade a used Grimonolith for a Sundering Titan or a Worm Coil, that's just fine. Decks who play Duretti are not trying to get value out of his artifact side. I guarantee you that. It's draw two, discard two. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, like, we could definitely go turn two monolith into turn three worm coil. Hmm. We can cut Rex Sage. We're getting to a point where I'm just cutting the main deck green cards, to be honest, and then we're just actually playing... Like, this is going to be rough now because we have to have three three green. Like, I'm almost tempted to cut Fauna Shaman and Oracle. And we'll keep these two in, obviously, because we're discarding them. But, like... I don't actually think we... I this searches creatures up, though. Like, we can actually... Being able to search up a Kozilek to through the Breach is actually pretty decent. But, God, is it worth going to three... To three uh, like, we're messing up our mana by, you know, adding a third color, essentially. Yeah, we can go. Let's cut Oracle. Let's cut Fauna Shaman. I could see cutting Coalition Relic once we cut the green cards. Like, yeah, is this just our deck? Like, we have one, two, three, four, five, five big creatures to either through the breach or. This is. This is interesting. I am in, I am interested. All right, let's do it. No green. No white. <laughs> so this is six, seven, eight versus wait, this is nine, this is fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, so this is 9, 10 versus 6, 7, 8, 9. Is it 10, 8? Yeah, let's do 10, 8. All right, man. Let's do it. Oh, what up, Morgan? Always good seeing you. <laughs> Rihanna Sneak. <laughs> is that the official name for this archetype? I will play first. Oh, we got an Entomb and a Reanimate? Oh! That's all you need. 
what are we getting back here? Oh man, it doesn't matter. I mean, even if we get back friggin' Woodfall Primus, take eight, kill your thing. Oh boy. GM Miller, didn't you just subscribe? GM Miller subscribing twice in one day, 30 minutes apart. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh man. Twitch is being weird. Well, that's too bad. Too bad. Okay. Let's see. Woodfall Promise is in our hand, so that would be uh, not a thing we can get. Hmm. Well, I mean, it really comes down to Terrasidon or Sundering Titan. I mean, I'd love to, I, I wish, I wish both of these two targets, I think these are the two best targets in our deck. I think that's ironically the, uh, the situation right now. Terrasidon can kill their one land, gives them a 3-3. Three, three. Sundering Titan can kill their one land. I guess Sundering Titan is just as good as Woodfall Primus here. Uh, I think I think Terrest, I think uh, Sundering Titan's better than Worm Coil Engine here. Thankfully, I've learned the technology between uh, about Sun Sundering Titan, where I can just choose their land as a swamp and a forest. And I can play ours. I mean, we took eight, but now we got seven, seven ten on the board on turn two, so. I mean, I'm sure they're just going to go like nature's claim, kill both of my lands, play their own land. That's that's my theory. Ancient Grudge, kill two of my lands and my creature. This is why Woodfall Primus is better. Uh, I have definitely not been doing better on Vintage Cube this season than last. This season has been a fucking nightmare. This season has been mono O threes and one threes. I mean, do I just vamp tutor for a land here? The problem is like we can't get anything that costs three, or else we're just Rex Age. <laughs> ah, <laughs> phenomenal. Fucking phenomenal. Okie dokie. This is why this is why this was a liability. I, I mean these are the two cards I wanted here. I mean now I'm tempted to Vampiric Tutor for a land, but there's no point. So like the odds of there being a land on top is pr probably pretty high. We're doing uh, not not well. I mean, I didn't really want to get Sundering Titan. I didn't want to get Terrastid on either. So it was kind of like a... It wasn't ideal, let's put it that way. We'd have four lands right now, which means we could Mind Twist for three if we didn't have our lands destroyed. And then we can follow it up with a living death for, you know, Sundering Titan again. Same same time, same card.
I mean, tutor for monolith doesn't actually work because we play the monolith. We don't have a third land because we're drawing monolith. They kill the monolith with the Duretti that's on board. So <laughs> that doesn't really work. Plus we just drew it. So that's cool. Chaos there. I appreciate you saying so, man. Uh, Mox Ruby would have been good there. Okie dokie. So <laughs> that went well. We did not do any cool shit other than turn one and I like, <laughs> oh boy. I don't even have any words, man. Like, I mean, language actually is probably fine. I'll just play it as a 44. I'm not really super concerned with. Yeah, oddly enough, I think I'm taking Recurring Nightmare out of my cube. See, this is the dream, though. Now we get to Entomb whatever we want, and then we get to Wood. They get to Vampiric Tutor for Reanimate and take 19,000 damage. But it's good. Oh, I wonder what's going to happen. You got it. I mean, I feel like it's Woodfall Primus here. That does feel like the safer choice. Let me go to 10. But what can you do? Let's get, I guess, reanimate. We could also wait a turn, but I don't really want to wait a turn. Plus, like, Woodfall Primus has a lot of protection. Like, if they want to kill it with Duretti, we just get to kill another. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. That's all it takes, I guess. Nicely done. I guess we get to guess we get to try again. Uh, this hand seems really good. Him into Liliana. We've got a two, three, four, and a five. We just need to hit some lands here. Oh, well, they went to six. Not great, Bob. On the play, when we got a when we got a him to Torak, I'm taking. Hold on, let me take out uh, remove. Yeah, we're taking out recurring nightmare. It's just never good. I never see it really that good. Like it just it takes too much work to like to do anything. Ooh, that's a turn. Hmm, that is a turn to Liliana, which might be better. Oh man, they're they're setting us up for a nice Sundering Titan here.
I mean, I think we discard Kozilek. Actually, we can discard Languish. This is still great if we hit uh, through the Breach. I'm scared. We're never allowed to have nice things. Well, it's all coming up Millhouse. Yeah, let's get rid of Languish here. It doesn't seem like they're, they're not super aggressive here, so... Okay. God, Sundering Titans. Uh, kill all three of your lands, none of mine. Okay. I mean, we get rid of their whole hand here. Oh, that's pretty good. Sylvan Library was a good hit for sure. Oh, Caracas and Miscalc. And let's each discard a swamp. Well, I don't know if they're discarding a swamp. They're discarding a braid. Hmm. Okay. Well, now we need a breach and a land, unfortunately. But any land lets us play Liliana, which is nice. And any spell is likely playable. Sure. Okay, so now we're really live. Like, if we hit... Yeah, this is great. Uh, two lands? Great. Did not want to draw those anyway. And we get to still get to kill another creature with Liliana, so... Yeah, like if we end up drawing uh, a big fat creature, we can discard it with Liliana, then reanimate it with Liliana. Mono Lilianas. Uh, if we end up drawing a land, it's easy pitch to Liliana. If we end up drawing something we can cast, we just play it like... And they're taking, they took 12 damage off of their Sylvan Library to draw three. I don't know the purpose if you're not playing all of your cards, though, because you're always going to have to discard one to Liliana. Well, it depends on what we draw. If we just draw a basic land, I'm discarding that for Liliana, for sure. Oh, yeah, they could definitely be digging for sure. Cause <laughs> like headless. No, man, his head's in the little, it's in the little hole. It's in the neck hole. Head in the neck hole, that's his name.
Fun master. That's not bad. Necromancy. Well. Let's see what we hit. Something good. Oh, come on, this is it. This is it. Oh, that's decent. Let's do that. Yeah, we're going to get in there for two. If they block, we get to Liliana here. Oh, really? Uh, Thank you. Necromancy does not give haste. Oh, Jojo MK, we did your step earlier. It should be going up on YouTube. And um, thank you for the resub, lady. Really appreciate it. 37 months, that's three years. Plus one. Yeah, we're just going to get rid of their Huntmaster. That guy's solid. And if we hit five more lands, we can just play Kozilek, which is pretty good. So... No, just playing. That ain't a thing. happening do i let her win hold on gonna play commander with my wife tonight do i let her win to improve my chances in the bed if she's your wife and you still have to improve your chances in the bedroom it's kind of rough buddy you guys should definitely uh well i don't know it's your relationship i was gonna say there should be some sort of, some sort of mutual appreciation of of one another i hope your chances aren't super low though that would be unfortunate for you dude if we can plus if we can draw like sundering titan plus one get rid of sundering titan and then blow up like all four of their lands she appreciates it when i don't breathe what does that even mean <laughs> oh dear are they gonna get another land oh double double island is rough because now it leaves them with one land on me this is good they're really uh yep that's good they're doing it Actually surprised this is Sullivan Library is a hell of a card, man. Okay. They did nothing else. Terastodon. That's actually great. Killing Sylvan Library and Treachery here is banerners. Unless they have like one counter spell. Come on, Liliana Death Majesty. Come on, do the death. Oh, we're not even countering. We're not even like we're not even playing a spell to animate this. We're just bringing it back with Liliana. Yep, let's get rid of Treachery and Sylvan Library. And I guess this is your only red source, but I think I'd just rather kill one of my own black sources. Right? Right, 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 right. Yeah, you know what? That seems fine. I just, I, I feel like having another 3 3 on board is probably beneficial for us. So now they're just in top deck mode. So are we, but we also have two planeswalkers and a worm coil and a terastodon. So that seems good. I mean, we're still in a situation where we can pitch anything to Liliana and reanimate it immediately with Liliana. It's the Liliana combo. Oh, boy. 
10 cards, you hit one lightning helix. Seems good. We've seen half their deck so far, and so far we've seen three cards that actually get hit by Niv Mizzet. So it's not a ton. They can't cast the Lightning Helix, so we do get another activation. Oh, and we get to actually make them discard it. So that's kind of cool. We don't have a way to deal with this, so it does get to just eat whatever we want. But hopefully we just hit Iona. Put Iona into play with Liana. Keep both our Planeswalkers. Seems good. Yeah, most of their cards are base green, it seems. Oh, we're just going to win the game. We would have... <laughs> oh, good grief. Good grief. Well, we would have hit the Iona that we literally predicted drawing, discarding, and reanimating. So that's cool, I guess. It did cool stuff every game. I mean, like, even game one, just because we lost, doesn't mean turn one and two and turn two reanimate wasn't cool. That's Timmy AF. I have to go over here and edit my... Recurring Nightmare, you're just trash. I need four more black cards for my cube now. Jeez. I also just took another card out the other day. I forgot what it was. Let's see if I can find out. Where is the history? Look at compare map and display. Display? No. Overview. Let's look at overview. Um. Analysis, maybe? No, I don't think that's it. Dang it, where is it? Shut up and take my money. I don't know where it is. Recurring Nightmare donated a dollar. No, you are. Oh, yeah, this look. We did it again. We got in Tomb Exhum. Uh, it is a vintage cube. Man, thank you for recurring nightmare. I'm sorry that I spoke so poorly of you. What do we get here? I guess we'll find out, won't we? Uh, it's called Professor Onyx. <laughs> Unbelievable. I'm actually probably going to replace Liliana um, Dreadhorde General with the Professor Onyx. Oh, man, they're going to do blue things. It's true. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to entomb an Iona. And then I'm going to exhume an Iona. And then I'm going to name blue, because that seems like a good choice. And they're going to play black, and then they're going to go... Kill Iona somehow. Shut up and take my money. Rakdos Signet. Okay. Oh, they discarded their own Iona? Can we necromancer their, their Iona? Oh, recurring nightmare. No problem, Frank. I know you didn't mean it. You were just frustrated and said it in the. <laughs> God damn it. I didn't want to go away too quick because I'm like, I need to I want to read. Shut up and take my money. Oh, okay. Oh, not the KS35. Does Professor Onyx make you want to go back and get your degree? Know what I mean? No, I don't I don't I don't follow. You're gonna have to explain it to me like I'm stupid. Oh, we hit their 
we hit their managing and their necromancy. Oh, I hope that's the only one you got. They said soft. I don't know what that means. Oh, dear. Oh, and I'm necromancying that for sure, bro. Unless you got a... Unless you got a thingamajig. Oh, man. Uh, and he, though, and I forgive you. Oh, thank you, Recurring Nightmare. That's really nice of you. God, what a... What a kind soul. So they can't play blue, so they actually can't counterspell Grizzly Bree. Grizzly Bree. Bristly Gristle. Yo, I can have this? Come on now. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. This is... We got a mutual reanimator match here, boys. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. I don't think Living Death is going to serve us well. It is un... Well, considering we lost the first round, I'm not sure how the... Did we lose the first round? Am I thinking of the last draft? I think I'm thinking of the last draft. Maybe I'm thinking of the last draft. Okay. <sighs> Anything else we want to bring in here? I mean, Languish kills Jace, which could be relevant. God, what did we saw? We saw Mana Drain. I kind of like Rexage because we did see both... Um, Necromancy and or a signet. Is it worth messing up our mana? I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. Well, what's going on out there? I'm like not impressed by language. I'll be honest. I'll just bring a Night's Whisper. I guess. I don't even know, dude. It feels like a turn turn two Iona was really good in that match, and I, I feel like if we don't end up doing that kind of nonsense again, it's going to be rough. Their deck looks very good. Well, turn one and tomb. It sets us up, but it also sets them up as well. Null Priest. Okay. I mean, we're just going to hold the entomb now. I kind of just want to play some play Null Priest here, just to get in some beats. I think that's probably fine. Here we go, Gristle Brand, and just reanimate it. Yep, it's uh, it's a thing. Yep. Pretty sure I can't beat that. <sighs> yeah, we're just going to scoop here. I mean, there were three lands away from that, and they would have gained like a million life by then. I think Rexage might just be worth the, the investment here. Um... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If 
feels really weird, but I can also see us playing Coalition Relic just as a as a thing. Ship that. Mm, keep this. We can keep this pitch Rex Sage, turn to Collective Brutality for Sundering Titan, and then get Sundering Titan. Try to keep the mountain safe so that we don't uh, have to kill it. Keep pitch done. Definitely Swamp here. I'm just not sure if we're Collected brutality -ing. I don't think we are yet. Uh, Sundering Titan's not nearly as good if they're just going Lava Claw Reaches. <sighs> yep, so they just would have taken that. Now they're going to take Collected Brutality, I guess. So... Pretty sure it's 1,000% brutality. Hmm. Uh, two modes. Neg two, neg two, and look at your hand, I guess. I mean, the thing is, I'm pretty sure they have friggin' necromancy. Or uh, not necromancy, but I'm pretty sure that, yeah, necromancy. I'm pretty sure they have necromancy. They're gonna be like, yeah, look at my hand. I can't discard anything, but you're going to discard a thing. I'll reanimate your thing on the next turn. Pitch Doretti seems terrible. Doretti's like one of the few cards that like actually lets us do stuff next turn. If we hit a land. But this is definitely a tricky situation. We're definitely playing Mountain. Like, that's just... Yeah, they're either a genius or an idiot. Like, it's definitely the truth, right? Like, it's either a really good play or a really bad play. I mean, they probably have something that we can hit. I mean, I'm actually just going to kill this and get my thing back. We have Duretti, and we can actually save Duretti's discard until the turn we want a Necromancy, so...
I mean, they can necromancy their kite cell freebooter. That's fine. That's one less necromancy they have. Dak Faden. Let's discard Doretti this time. Hey, little chief. Look at your little legs. Wonder. Look at you. Watson got a haircut today. He looks very handsome. What do you see? You also smell very good, sir. What are you looking at? Look out the window. You see any squirrels? They're choosing me? What? This is all very strange. Are they hoping I'm going to discard like a big fat idiot? What are you doing? Well, now I gotta put you down because big things are happening. Ah, <sighs> good times. Yep. Why did they make me? Why did they make me? Ch I don't understand why they chose me to loot. That's kind of confusing. I mean, I'm sure they're going to reanimate Sundering Titan now. I mean, they just have so much filtering. Like, they've drawn, like, six extra cards in the past two turns. Well, three turns, I guess. That's how many DAC activations that is. Oh boy. Here we go. Thundering Titan. Yep, there it is. Worm coil engine. Interesting. Like, why not Sundering like, Titan is so much better here. Like, you kill two of my lands in one island, right? But if I kill the Sundering Titan, then you kill all of my lands. I guess you have two lands left, but then you still have a Dak Faden. Sure. I'm not sure I understand what's happening here. sack I'm gonna get two worms 
It's fine. I don't think we're winning this game, but what can you do? I mean, if they want to deck us, we can easily just either pitch the two cards we... When are we cast till the target's one of our permanents? Sure. I really wonder what they could have here. Ooh, both at Lily, huh? Okay. Animate dead, targeting Sundering Titan. Sure. Oh, man. If we're having two cards, they're very good. Mm-hmm. Well, we definitely have to get, like, reanimate here. And then bring back Worm Coil, I guess. And then they're going to target it with something like a Lightning Bolt, and then they're going to steal it, I'm sure. And then we're probably going to concede. That's my guess. Okay, it didn't happen yet. But we got we're hovering over it because, come on, we know how things are going. Interesting. I mean, this is an easy block. Like, we get two guys. The board's on parity. We have no lands. They have four lands. Yep. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, good the old the old preemptive good games. That's a good one. Can be land. Who knows? Oh wow, we're living the dream here. Yeah, that's what we were expecting, and now we want to block the Death Touch creature. Or the, the stupid land, rather. So now if we hit Exhum... Oh, Exhum is in the graveyard. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> yep, that's a good one. That's a good one. Well, we have four turns to... Three turns, I guess. So. Just 
Yeah, that would be that would be actually great next turn. If we hit a land. Mox? No, I'm sure. Okie dokie. And cool. Like it's kinda it's kind of obnoxious that you say GG's five fucking minutes ago. Obviously the game wasn't over, so it's kinda weird, but All right, let's see if we can still do some crazy things. And the answer is yes. Yes, we can. We will keep this hand. Uh, we're going to tutor. For an entomb, then we're going to entomb something beautiful. Drop my card. Oh no. Mistakes were made. They're going to daze us. In tomb. Oh, wow. That was, that was a good draw. Yeah, it was a good draw to you, Vampire. That's the joke. That's the joke. Ooh, look at that guy. What's he doing with his life? Big fat Woody. That's the joke. The goggles, they do nothing. Nothing. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. One, two, three. I don't think I'm using, man, maybe. What do we do here? They're gonna take our turn. We're at 10. Oh, all they have to do is attack. Oh, they don't take our turn. That's right. That's right. That's true. So no, then it's not cast. That's a good point. Well, we're still dead on board to this stupid idiot. That's unfortunate. Cool. 
So they block here, they take six. Yep, that's uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Okie dokie. I guess they just show and tell the better creature than we than our woodfall prime. Why didn't we hit all our land? I don't know. It's only turn four. We've missed the land drop, so. I mean, otherwise we could attack with both. They would block and kill like Terastodon. We could living death get back Terastodon. All it takes is one land. I mean, we don't have a fifth land, right? So we can only do ready or not. Like, if we made three lands, they six, 79, 10, 12. Yeah, we actually would have killed them. Actually, that would, yeah, we... So uh, when I decided what to kill... um, Yeah, we lost this game. That was definitely a punt. Because I thought they had a cast trigger. I didn't want them... I didn't want to make three threes when they have Emrakul because, like, they take our turn, they go back to their turn, they attack us or, you know, however it works... Um, but yeah, not having that happen is, um, so we attack with like, we just, we're just dead here. Like we just lose to stupid Emrakul. Yep. Cool. Yep. There's a land. All right. I mean like, so we threw it, we threw it, but also like. I don't what, are you okay? Like why are they laughing? Like well lol lol lol. I mean like Jesus. Take it easy, buddy. Seems fine. Yeah, I'm just like I don't. I like I'm not like I'm like I have it's a vintage cube, dude. I have like three cards in hand. I have every right to like decide whether I can come back from this or not. Like, like I don't know. It's just super weird to be like to to ask like, am I getting slow roll? Like I have literally like my turn started at six thirteen. Within the minute, am I getting slow rolled? <laughs> like holy shit, dude. Try and relax. Yeah, we'll keep this hand. Oh, we haven't seen Reanime again. I love it. <laughs> Fucking love it. I mean, this has been a very consistent... Uh... Because they're stupid. Don't sweat it. <laughs> okay, that's fair, I guess. Hmm. Duress, huh? Well... We might as well get Entomb out of our hand because it's a card like, I mean, if they if they take Entomb, it's just, they can take Reanimate, but we have tons of things we can draw that are not Reanimate, so that's totally fine. Feels like Iona. It'll be fine. It's just a card we don't really want to draw, so... I mean, it's great because if they take reanimate, we still have him to target mind twist, so. And we can still draw, like, exhum, necromancy, what have you, so. Yep, that's obviously what you have to take there. I got an Ashiok and a Bazaar of Baghdad. Okie dokie. Can we just mind twist two of their cards, leave them with two things to do? Or we just put Oviomancer? Huh. Play Ophiomancer here.
You got it. Boy, our hand's looking rough right now. Wheel of Fortune? What? <laughs> Hitting an exhum off Wheel of Fortune when they shuffle their Emrakul back is bananas. Oh my god, dude. Wow, that's... That's pretty good, I guess. Um, now it's like Iona. Let's Iona name Black, I guess. Am I getting slow rolled? Sure. Down to Rate City? I don't even know what that means. Send them on down to Rat Train. It's going to be a red card. Outside and sure. got to call on the Rat Train. <laughs> so nine. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Why not? Am I getting slow rolled? No, you're getting the game lost. Okay, so we we saw sneak attack. Does Rex Age come in? I don't even know, man. What's that little boy doing out there? <laughs> he doing big growls. Um, I think we are bringing in the one, two, three, four. Mammary Gar. I don't know what a Mammary Gar is. Man, we both got Wheel of Fortune too. That's pretty. That's pretty. It's pretty fascinating. That's show and tell. That's interesting. It seems terrible against us. Um, you know what? We could vamp for a Kozilek. Uh, we, and that's not going to play you for a, quite a few turns, so... The problem is we need an Entomb or a Reanimate spell for that to be any good. I think we just go get Grim Monolith here. Or we can get Brutality. No, it's got to be Monolith, right? Getting Entomb doesn't do anything. We don't have any way to take advantage of an Entomb. Like, okay, put a creature in the graveyard. Four more turns, we get to get it back eventually. Like, that just doesn't do anything in this game. I'd rather get Grim Monolith that lets us play Liliana or Living Death. <sighs> What are you doing, you little rascal? You're being, you're being in big trouble today. What are you doing? I 
They took big lils. Big Grims. Let's top deck a uh, Kozilek, and then we can just throw the Breach their whole board. That's what we want to do. That's not a Kozilek. Why you do this? I mean, we're not going to... I don't think we're going to Living Death just to get a, this gentleman back. Oh, a Sundering Titan. Well, Living Death is worse now. Woodfall Primus. Mm, more lands. Seems good. Yeah. There is like three copies of Through the Breach. Yes, there is a UMA version. There's a, uh, what do you call it? Expedition version or uh, Amonkhet, whatever the Amonkhet ones are. A beach thing? It's not Through the Beach. It's, oh, Through the Beach altar. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what's going on right now. We're doing a little play on words. Okay. Got it. I wonder if we just should have living death earlier to get Liliana back and then just play Liliana. But even now, like we still wouldn't be able to play it till right now because our Grimonolith would be tapped. Good times. Thank you. Oh, Barcode, what up? Thank you for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. This is, seems like a... Oh, good. They're gonna... Yep, cool. Yeah, I don't need to see all that. Thanks for watching, guys. Monsonster, thanks for the snip, even though uh, pretty pathetic one, two is all we can muster. I appreciate the support, buddy. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys.